going. Contenders ready! Terry being chased by Doom and our fastest gladiator predator is hunting down Chris. The boys only have a three second start over the gladiators, so they'll need all the luck they can get. Three, two, one! And off they go, a speedy start for the boys. But don't look now, here come the gladiators. Chris is at the monkey bars, and what an incredible lead. He's building a great lead over Predator. Two points for both contenders. They're really going for it. Whoa, Chris stumbled here. But did he put his hand down, I wonder? The referee will want to look at that again. It could mean disqualification. But look at them go. Another two points on the way for both men. It's amazing. Oh, and Terry's fallen. That must have hurt. Looks like Chris is almost whole, if not exactly dry. Terry's made a great recovery. It could be maximum points for both contenders. Great excitement here. Chris has made it. Can Terry stay ahead of Doom, who's getting closer by the second? But he's made it too. An amazing effort from both contenders. And Terry's dad is over the moon. First, I've got to say what a fantastic game that was. Congratulations on your 10 points, Sel, but Chris, what we're going to do here, we're going to have to call John in. What's happened here, John? Well, during the run, my assistant referee and I suspected that the contender, Red, put his hand on the beam to steady himself. We've consulted videos in detail, and the decision was that it, conclusively he did touch the beam. See the left hand. And regrettably, that is a disqualification. And the, and the two points... And the two points he scored up to that point are null and void. Well, thanks for that, clearing that up for us, John. Well, Chris, you heard that. Is that going to get you down? Because that's the rules of the game. That's fair enough. No problem. I'll come back stronger, faster. It's a great effort from both of you. Let's look at the scores after the second game. Disappointment for Chris. Terry now storming ahead on ten points. Next, our contenders will need lion-hearted bravery and the speed of a leopard if they want to avoid the hits and deal with the runs. And this time, we've made it even harder. It's hit and run! Hit and run. So both girls get to score, but Siren, Battle Axe, Tempest and Inferno have no intention of making it easy for Catherine. Contender, ready! Remember, the new rules mean Catherine has just eight seconds to cross the bridge before the light goes out or she fails to score for that crossing. But Catherine also has to avoid the Gladiator's demolition balls to score some much-needed points. Three, two, one... She's off. A quick start. Oh, she was nearly hit then. But she's made it. Two points. Off she goes again. She's so quick. Another two points. And just look at this girl flying now. She's unstoppable. Just making the points there before the light went out. This is unbelievable. It's what Gladiators is all about. Speed, agility, determination. What a contender this girl is. That's 10 points now. And she makes another run for it. Can she score yet again? No. It's Tempest who's finally taken her out. A great run from Catherine, though. And also a great performance by the Gladiators. Well Wolf looks pleased. How did you feel like it went? Oh my goodness, that was like amazing. <laughs> you were just going for it. Yeah, I you know. You had about four swoops in a row. Yeah, I know, and I was just like trying not to touch the balls because you're not allowed to, and then I just, yeah, that one just got me. Ten points, I'm really happy with that. I did not expect that. Let's get Becky in because you're up next, Becky. Come here, my love. You've got no points yet. You've got a lot of support out there. You've just seen Catherine get ten points. How are you feeling now? I'm going to give it my best. Absolutely. Good luck. We'll speak to you after. Over to John. Becky's dad willing her to do well. Contender! And it's absolutely crucial she scores some points here, or Catherine could be too far ahead to catch. Gladiators! Ready! Gladiators absolutely love this game, though. Three, two, one! Real pressure on Becky here. 
and she has run straight into the ball and is hit by another. Oh, it's the worst thing that could have happened. It's a disaster for Becky, but a great night for the female oh, gladiators. Yeah. Taken out by Siren. You didn't last very long, did you? What happened? This is not my day. <laughs> Normally we'd show the highlights now, but seeing as it was so short, we'll look at the whole thing. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. You, oh, you stayed on though. To your credit, you stayed on there. You hung on and then you just got whacked by Siren's massive ball. Uh, let's have a look at the scores. Catherine is on a roll, but Becky is still going nowhere. The girls are safely through their date with the demolition balls, but after the break, it's the boys' turn to become human target practice for these irate-looking Iron Men. It's Warrior! Spartan! Atlas! Dude. On Gladiators! OK, welcome back to Gladiators! Yes. There's really no ploy to this. You've got to just go for it, you surely? 110%. You can't slow down, just keep going. And what, you got any, anything to say to the Gladiators? Best of luck to you guys. You do your job, I'm going to do mine. OK, well, good luck. I'll speak to you later. John, let's get this one started, man. Contender! Ready! So Chris is a full ten points behind Terry after being disqualified in pursuit and his daughter hoping Daddy can do the business Ready, here. Gladiators! Ready! It certainly won't be easy. Up against Doom. Atlas. Spartan. And Warrior. He's off. He has just seven seconds to cross the bridge before the light goes out. And Chris just makes it. Two points. Look at him go now. What a run. No stopping the truck driver from Birmingham. The Gladiators can't get anywhere near him. Six points now. He's just so quick. And that's eight points. His daughter's loving this. He's going so well here. And what a move. Chris taking no prisoners tonight. Oh, he was almost knocked off that time. But he's on a roll, 12 points now. Off he goes again. Oh, but that's it. He's finally taken out by Doom. A brilliant effort by Chris, though. 12 points? I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Well done, my friend. Next up to face hit and run is Terry. Contender, ready? Terry really under pressure with Chris having taken the lead. He needs a brilliant performance. Gladiators, ready? Three, two, one. And Terry's off and running. Or should that be walking? A very cautious start. He needs to be quicker if he wants to reach the platform before the light goes out and he's missed it, I'm afraid. Not a great start. He's picked up speed now, though. And gets his first two points. He seems to have the hang of it now. He's really going for it. Another two points. That gives him four. Flying along the bridge now. And his dad knows it. But Terry has slowed down Keep again. Moving. Keep moving. A warning from the referee. Contenders aren't allowed to stop on the bridge. Or they could be disqualified. And he's doing it again. Keep moving. Terry looks like he's in trouble now. He's already been warned for this. And the referee's called a halt. The rules clearly state you must keep moving at all times. The contender is disqualified from that event. Oh, Terry's family not happy about that. Warrior showing no sympathy at all. Tell, so, it's unlucky. What happens is, Tell, the rules say you have to keep well, going, my friend. Listen, what am I going to do? Keep going, that's what you got to do. I can't run if the ball's in front of me. Gonna... That is harsh. That is the rules. Listen, the rules state, yes. There's no point in me running straight into a ball. I've got to wait for the ball. Yeah, yeah, but if you don't touch the ball, you're OK. Yeah, it's unlucky, but let's take a look at Adam Men's scores. Stand with just one game to go before the eliminator. Terry obviously gutted, now two points behind. Next up, it's the final game of the night. Pyramid. First up on the pyramid is the girls, and they'll be facing up to the might of Amazon and Enigma. Ooh, and 
Now, this is the final game before the Eliminator. Catherine, you are 14 points ahead, which gives you a seven-second head start on the Eliminator. Are you going to take it easy on this one? 